Hello, my name is Donna Duarte. My identity is Death Plus. I am an educator. I am a deaf and disability rights activist and advocate. I am also a public speaker. Sixteen years ago, I became disabled. I lost my hearing and my vision. I've had the privilege of living my life as a person with disabilities and as a person living without disabilities. The experiences that I have living in both worlds, I use to work with organizations and businesses to help them improve their accessibility for their workers and consumers. Part of the issue is trying to change the English to become ASL. <sighs> okay, I'm starting again from a community focus. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. No. For some obstinate reason, I feel it's important for them to hear that I have a voice. Oh, yeah. Voice. Oh, yeah, you're supporting me. The problem is, is that people have this idea and businesses and organizations and institutions have this, I, they have this image of what a deaf person is. And because they have this image, they have this one size fits all approach that doesn't address the issues of everyone or the access, the access requirements of everyone. And that's, I, that's why I want a voice. So maybe I just need to personalize it. Where should our community focus be now? My perspective and my experience have shown that the ADA is not a one-size-fits-all law. However, businesses, organizations, institutions are behaving in a manner like it is a one-size-fits-all law. And that's not helpful for me and for other people who need accommodations that are specific to their lived requirements. And it is important that businesses, institutions, and the organizations understand that fact, but they don't, or they refuse to listen. My idea for what needs to happen is simple. We work together to add an amendment to the ADA specifically about that and two other situations. We need to add punishment to the ADA. It is important because right now what's happening is people are still struggling without 
communication access. I've had many, many experiences in ER without interpreting services, without effective communication access, struggling, begging for access and not getting it. And I'm not alone. We need to also add education as the third part of the amendment, because that was also left out when the law passed. The ADA is an amazing thing, but it's not perfect, and it doesn't help when businesses, organizations, and institutions find ways to avoid their responsibility under the law. An amendment can fix that. And before we can do that, we need to get together, collaborate, and discuss, and find ways that we can work together for that to become a success. 